these metals are neurotoxins, and children exposed to these metals are at risk of permanent neurologic and behavioral problems. Every new parent depends on baby food to help feed their child, but study after study has shown baby food contains more than just food. Heavy metals are found in nearly every bottle. Tim TV reporter Kevin Landers uncovers why it's happening and a possible solution. You can't smell it, your baby can't taste it, and you can't do a home test to detect it. What do you think? We're talking about heavy metals in baby food. For parent Sarah Lewis, the mother of nine-month-old Jonah, she knew about the concern, but not from her doctor. I was never told any of this by our pediatrician. Which is why she started making homemade baby food. And then we usually mix it all up. No rice, sweet potatoes, or carrots for her son. Research from the Food and Drug Administration show these types of foods contain heavy metals that doctors say can affect the child's brain. I do a lot of apples, pears, he'll take or leave bananas, um, some avocado. A 2019 study called What's in My Baby's Food found 95% of baby food jars on store shelves include lead, of which there are no safe levels. Jane Houlihan conducted the study. The important thing to know about baby foods is that nearly all of them contain heavy metals, so babies are being exposed with every meal, and the exposures add up day to day. Her study tested nearly 170 products and found one in four baby food products contain traces of inorganic arsenic, cadmium, and mercury. Two years later, an investigation by the House Subcommittee on Economic Consumer Policy found levels of heavy metals in baby food that were far above the limit set for bottled water. And that leaves parents like Sarah Lewis searching for options. I can make a pouch with cleaner, better ingredients for around 75 cents. Dr. Hannah Hayes is the chief of toxicology for Nationwide Children's Hospital. She treats children with lead poisoning. In Ohio, 20% of cases that we see of children with lead poisoning are from other sources than lead-based paint. Could be baby food. Including baby food. Dr. Hayes says parents should be concerned. These metals are neurotoxins, and children exposed to these metals are at risk of permanent neurologic and behavioral problems. Dr. Hayes encourages parents who are considered high risk, meaning they feed their babies food brought in from other countries to get their babies blood tested. How concerned should parents be about feeding their children with baby food? As a parent, I recommend to be concerned about avoiding all sources of lead and heavy metals, and that does include baby foods. While baby food doesn't contain warning labels about heavy metals, Dr. Hayes says the symptoms of heavy metal poisoning are clear. The most common thing that I see parents report is speech delay, uh, abdominal pain, constipation, and fussiness. So what can parents do? Experts say you can't buy your way out of the problem, meaning making baby food at home or buying organic won't eliminate it. That's because the problem is in the soil and water where the food is grown. Experts recommend avoid feeding daily helpings of certain foods. Sweet potatoes, for example, are high in lead and cadmium. Rice-based products are also a concern. Infant rice cereal is, has high levels of arsenic. Rotating food into the infant's diet is also a possible way to reduce exposure. There are no studies that I've seen that show that that's a definite way to minimize exposure, but it makes sense. Are you all done? As for Sarah Lewis, a board-certified behavioralist, she says she's sticking with homemade baby food for her son Jonah. So he's eating whole milk yogurt. Which she believes is the best way to reduce heavy metals in his food. Good boy. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Are you all done with your snack? Now, in response to our story, the FDA said it's taking a strategic long term approach to reducing childhood dietary exposure to lead, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury through the FDA's Closer to Zero initiative. The FDA plans to issue draft action levels for arsenic and cadmium in foods intended for babies this year and finalize action levels for lead in juices by 2025. End quote. You can read the agency's full response on our website. Just check out 10tv.com.